Dearest souls, things are coming together nicely for you and all the ingredients are there for things to go in your favor and it's time to work together with another in making these ingredients into something special. Listening to each other and bouncing ideas and thoughts will allow you to make great progress. Greater peace will be able to be achieved as a result and you will see you are not alone with all of this. But you should still keep checking back to your intuition as it will help you take the right steps straight through to your inner knowing and don't lose yourself in the process. You are needing to know that you will be able to trust that this person wants to solve things together. They don't want to take over or leave the solutions all down to you, but to be a team in working everything out. So build on your friendship with them and watch how things grow. This time spent with them will be joyful and you will find yourself being able to relax more in time. Having obtained a pretty successful life for yourself, you are ready for more and to share your life but you don't want to lose all you have built up. So you have become very independent but now it's time to learn interdependence, the balance between codependency and being too independent that you don't let anyone in. So you don't have to remain alone and with that right partner can retain who you are, be who you authentically are. And while it's building a life that includes them being a big part of your life, it's time for new beginning to unfold especially if you have been noticing triple one a lot. So it's time to create more peace and harmony in your life. You are a beauty to behold and you would make a loving partner as your beauty is not just a skin deep thing. So you have beauty and magic in your core and this has been noted. Trust what the universe is presenting to you. So trust in yourself to see the truth of the situation. Trust in the ability for things to work out. So things can work out just fine if you give it a chance. So dear souls, know that. Trust your intuition and act because someone is approaching to you again. This person can be very charming and attractive and they have a lot of options around them from starting. So when it's come a lovely relationship connection and also this person try to explore as many as options they can in past especially in the school or college time when you come into their life or both of you come to know each other as a partner or as a relationship partner and this person did not consider you as they are one and only option and this person still try to explore their options when they were with you in relationship. So clearly this person was not loyal to you in your connection and whatever you did or said to them in your relationship make them triggered. And it is possible that mostly this person was on and off in your relationship. They never give you proper time attention and they always run from a proper communication. 
because they know that you have a lot to ask from them but they did not have answer of your questions and if this person choose someone else or something else over you and also they did not give you proper chance to explore this connection and they have regret about it right now and in this regret is literally killing them from inside so they feel like they threw away the diamond while they were busy collecting the stones because when you left them or this person walk out from this connection so they are realize that no one else can love them the way you did and it is also possible that you help this person financially this person was not loyal to you at that time but right now this person is seeing you as their one and only option so dear souls know that there has been a difficult change recently in your connection and it almost blow you away everything was going fine until this person decided to shift gears and walk away they could have been influenced by their friends and family members you thought you two had a thing going on but this unexpected display of their behavior has shocked you it is a challenging and tough situation you are still trying to navigate through and it has almost turned your life upside down and you are still trying to come to terms with your present situation they had fear based ego issue that made this person show their true colors to you you might be learning on your circle of trusted counsel friends for supports and guidance and there is no need to worry believe in divine detox this rejection is divine protection what seems to be a difficult situation now would turn out to be a pleasing blessing in disguise the full moon might bring up some unexpected and uncomfortable changes in your connection so it is time to make a decision as a truth will reveal itself it could bring up some challenges along the way an event that occurs in your relationship might bring down your confidence level and shatter your strength and courage as it will show you a completely different picture than what you had imagined in your head about your partner the full moon energy might affect your mood making you feel angry egoistic and even a bit sad just observe these emotions without reacting as things are still unfolding and you might not be seeing the whole truth the theme of give take in relationships will be highlighted making you question and if the scales are balanced in your relationship so dear souls know that the more you spend time with yourself the more clear things will become something significant here would happen within the next few days no moment does not mean that there is nothing happening in this situation it's more about building and this situation is building slowly with time and this time is asking you to be patient and see what happens i see a sense of awakening coming soon which liberate you both in a different way
I see that someone here is passionate to bring about a change. You will for sure see something in the next three days, a shift that is going to change everything around in a lot of ways. It just basically means that whatever doubts you have right now, all of that will be clear and things are going to become much more brighter and clear. So something that you have been holding on to carry tightly also is acting as a problem in your life and it's stopping you from achieving what you are meant to get. So there is this strong message of letting go something else, not what you have been waiting for. Letting go will make space for this new energy to come in your life. Keep doing this work and rest will automatically fall into place. Three days from today, you will see something what is turning in your life and the sun energy keeps repeating. So trust the universe. So dear souls, know that. Negative thinking is being replaced by trusting your strategic decision making. So listen intently to understand the intuitive insight and dream. This alignment is helping you feel safe to trust yourself and others in relationships. We are going deeper into the loving relationship with ourselves and God, which is attracting others that also put God first. This is the beautiful new beginning that starts today. Take a time to focus on the relationship with yourself and the world around you. Replenish your energy with fun and play. Ground your higher wisdom into the new path. Continue cultivating logical maturity over triggers and reactions. So you are the leader of your life and are to actively and constructively hold true to your values, health and vitality and this can be done through taking a step back breathing. Getting center and regrouping to approach situations calmly and with love. So dear souls know that. The beautiful goddess of the moon asks that you connect with your spirituality to get the answers and you are searching for. So you have always had the ability to feel when something is not right and that is your intuition helping to guide you. So you are asked to learn how to be open and reconnect to your higher self to gain clarity and help to create shifts in your life that you want. So it may be emotions letting go of what you know and what feels comfortable but as you move your energy away you will see things more clearly and know what steps to take. So someone with anxiety falls in love the way you do. The only difference is that while they are falling in love, their brain is also coming up with a million different reasons why they should not. Someone with anxiety falls in love slowly, cautiously because they are always thinking this can't possibly last, this can't possibly be real and this is too good to be true. So something going to run this at some point, someone with anxiety falls in love while feeling a strange mixture of hope and dread, hope that they have finally found someone they can talk to. Someone they can depend on, someone they can trust and dread that they will not be good enough 
that they don't deserve this that their heart now sleeps peacefully in someone else's hands but that it could end up being shattered at any moment but someone with anxiety also falls in love wholeheartedly so they fall in love fiercely and absolutely and with the commitment to something that is finally light and exciting and real they feel scared but certain and out of control but also light hearted someone with anxiety appreciate the big stuff but falls in love during the little moments quiet car rides deep sleeps across the room looks in the middle of a boring party and they fall in love during reassuring conversations they fall in love from hand holding that puts them more at easy on a troubling flight they fall in love during at a saturday nap and a breakfast that that is just a bagel on a bench and a weekend spent with a family that starts to feel a little bit like their own <coughs> so they fall in love during the little things because the little things make them feel normal the little things with someone special remind them that it does not have to take much to bring them back from a dark night or a panic attack or a work meltdown someone with anxiety falls in love the way you do they fall in love intensely and vulnerably and wholly the only difference for them is getting to a place where they believe that they truly deserve it so dear souls know that that is not the end it is just a transformation sometimes we grieve the ending of a situation but forget that a beautiful new dawn awaits us so something in your life could be coming to completion a chapter ending but another chapter awaits someone who you thought it was over with could return or someone new could enter your life in the space they left The truth is when that appears in a reading we don't always know how things will be reborn or what eliminates are leaving for good and what will return later in time. We have to accept endings with grace and trust that this is happening for our highest good and something better and more aligned is coming. Today you may be feeling the depth of a loss or absence. But your spirit guides want to reassure you that they have something beautiful planned and in the future when you look back on this moment in the time. You will smile at the memories and feel blessed that what left your life did at that time so that you could have the fresh start you deserve if something has felt stagnant for a while then. and this is the area in your life the rebirth will impact something that has not been moving or progressing is about to change almost overnight so dear souls know that kindness is so important empathy is essential striving to meet people at understanding is key everyone you meet is going through something went through something and might about to be forced to overcome a great obstacle and some people got through it and others are struggling to and figuring out ways to copy and manage i emotionally handled that challenge and many might be finally through it on the other side But what we remember in great times of struggle or when overcoming adversity 
are not the days that were hardest but rather the people who were kindest when we needed it most divine union is the most sacred experience in life and one of the most intense way we can experience such a state is through twin flame love and the natural state of life is union and balance everything we see and experience including our bodies the season birth and death night and day and the endless energetic frequencies around us are initially whole the experience of twin flame love is simply a reflection of this divine wholeness the nature of the human mind and ego is to divide the world and isolate ourselves from others however the opportunity to find true and conditioned love is open to all people one of the most sacred vehicles of this journey towards experiencing true love is the twin flame union So dear souls know that once we connect with our twin flame our lives will never be the same upon connection we immediately feel draw to the other twin in some way which is inexplainable to the human mind but we just in our heart it is right you will notice something about the other twins eyes then both twins immediately experience the feeling of pure love and bliss which comes with the idealization of the other as a romantic partner and we feel every stage that one may experience in the love journey but accelerated and magnified to a level most could only dream of experiencing so we feel the home we have longed for our entire lives and this feels a space in our hearts we have not been able to feel as much as we tried we feel a strong magnetism and fear of loss at the same time immediately our past life reminders kick in where we have lost our twin flame which is why we feel such a strong fear of losing the one we love with also strong love brings upon our deepest fears hence the triggers that come with this journey we are forced to deal with our baggage from both this life generational patterns karma and etc and previous lives until we have fully healed this is why we must go through physical separation in order to become whole again and return to a state of love so every twin flame will go through this process but every stage and time span is different for each twin but everyone will wake up when we come together we begin the process of awakening to 5d living We are no longer allowed to live life blindly but we are being pushed towards awareness of our thoughts behaviors and habits and to release anything that is not serving us for the better And the most important part of this journey is understanding the illusion of separation that we were born into when coming into this plane we choose to see life this way in order to remember so be proud of yourself for how far you have come you are here so you are definitely in the right place to experience the truth you are never without anything this is something that many believe in this journey and this leads to great suffering and you have your twin flame with you always and it is so important that you know that feel them with you so dear souls know that divine feminine you may be feeling mixed emotion now you were feeling ready to move forward in your life 
being excited and optimistic towards your future yet now at the same time you may be conflicted and feeling a little low you are trying to be present and in the moment and yet at the same time becoming anxious to move forward and have the life you know is possible you may be questioning the timing of things currently and feeling like giving up you may find it hard to find patience in divine timing and life may feel a little stagnant and dull you may be trying a lot of new things and feeling like you need to fill a void searching outside of yourself and nothing seems to be creating happiness for you intuitively you know to go inside but part of you may be resisting this exploration not fully trusting that you have the answers you seek you may find yourself feeling down as well about your weight or the way you look not feeling like you shine currently like you're in a fog so dear souls know that today you are guided to choose love choose yourself for some you might at the cross path where you need to make a decision at something to create a harmony in your life whether it is about career or love life there are temptation coming up in your life actually those temptation are signs for you that is nothing to hide anymore so whatever you need to know is here make sure you are listening and following your own emotions but be conscious when you are making a decision so you are about to reach a harmonious state in your career and financially for some if you are thinking to do a business partnership make a sure that you gather around all the information you need have to be able work it out well also the spirits wants you to make sure you are staying on the line business is a business without any emotions or feeling involving so fate come up twice in a row i feel like it's more you need to learn to trust and look at the bigger picture because there is no doubt this person is loving you deeply and thinking to take this connection to the next stage both of you are healing each other by triggering each other in good ways there will be an emotional transformations coming up so be gentle with yourself so also trust that the bond between you and this person is developing and stronger each time despite whatever happens so dear souls know that you always know your own answer deep down listen to your soul's guidance Your heart is always trying to guide you in the right direction for you and towards love, happiness and fulfillment. So you can feel when something is guided because it will feel right, sparkly and positive. You can feel when something is against your highest good because it will feel heavy. So concentric and bad practice this and you will get better and better at knowing if you find this challenging begin to spend some time in meditation and sitting quietly and allowing your analytical mind to grow silent allow the thoughts to drift away in the silence you gain a deeper and more direct connection with your true guidance
as little as 5 minutes daily spent with your eyes closed in silence will help you gain more clarity on your soul's divine path and messages for you and your true guidance always trust yourself so dear souls know that i have big plans and dreams for you and i right now i'm trying to be practical and realistic so in the end we are secure and happy i know all you see is love i do too but i can forecast blockages and problems and i am working on them in advance please trust me we will celebrate our love i promise you so i know you are angry at me for my timing your ego threatens to run from me try i will push you when it's the right time i would not let you get away so i am quite but telepathically speaking to you listen for me i know you have been hurt before let me be the one that heals you the one that marries you i will so my heart hurts to our memories eat at me i'll admit but i want to do this right i miss you but let me clear my path i cannot wait to hold you again and tell you it's only you and it has been for too long since you give yourself to the romance of life your mind your sensible side is always fighting against it listen to your soul which is letting you know that it is time to surrender became the queen of the roses the king of the ivy the colors of the rainbow clothe yourself in the lights of the stars to keep following the path of your soul you must allow romance a firm place in your life and it will make you pause for a moment and show you the world through the eyes of a lover only then will you recognize its true color and radiance only then will you be attracted to all that you want to attract then your inner most magic will unfold silently like the scent of a rose and that is both entrancing and a healing make a conscious decision and act upon it day by day you will see how your life becomes richer more radiant and easier type yes if you have faith and trust in universe